I'm from Louisiana, born and raised in Homer, Louisiana. I've been here all of my life except for my time in the military in the, uh, in the early part of the 70s and the latter part of the Vietnam era. I started doing taxidermy at an early age in junior high and into high school. Of course, all we did was hunt and fish and things like all outdoor activities and stuff. So it was a natural progression for me. And then one day I found out that somebody actually paid me to do a duck, you know, and I'm like, you can get paid for this? That started a monster. You know, and after I came out to service, I continued doing it. And in 1975, I started uh, Swampland Taxidermy Studio. My career in taxidermy, I initially started out doing uh, birds. My first bird I ever done was a blue jay, which is obviously an illegal bird, but uh, he was in my sights. You know, BB gun, the Red Rider thing, uh, zapped him. And it must have been okay because all the feathers were still on it after I mounted it, you know. Wish I still had it, but we don't. In my business, in this taxidermy business, uh, some time ago I decided that I didn't want to just be an a average, everyday commercial taxidermist. I didn't want to do that. If I, want to put, if I was going to put my stamp on it, I wanted it to be better than that. I, I do quite well in the competitions, so I wanted my, what we call commercial work, or what my customers get. I want them to have the competition grade stuff. So a lot of the times when I go to a competition, I bring stuff that I take off the wall, just a customer's piece. And I'll bring that to the competition. And that gives me an idea of what I'm giving my customers on a regular basis. Here's a beautiful replica of the snook that I caught with Captain Buddy Tyson in Florida. If you've got a prize trophy, make an appointment with Carl Treg. It'll be worth the ride.